Okay, chat, today we're gonna be watching a show called Eliminated. It's a show where four girls compete for one guy, and one girl will get eliminated at the end of each round until he finds a girlfriend or something. I don't know, whatever y'all do with girls, because I don't get any. Let's meet those people on the show. I'm Craig and I'm a project accountant for a construction company. In my spare time, what? I'm on the bike. There's a girl who's gonna love to get on my back on my bike and just go for a ride. The girl I'm just gonna get along with, she's like one of my friends. She, he won a homie. He just won a homie. My name is Allison and I used to be a snob, but now I'm lovable. Oh wow, that sounds awesome. Hi. I'm Samantha and believe it or not, I'm not attracted to extremely intelligent men. Harvard! I've always been easy to please. Just be nice Ooh. to me. Ooh. Ooh, just be nice to her. She giving you everything you want. I'm Nicole and I am a cheap date. Oh, she's a bot, bot, body. I'm a sensual woman. Being a woman is sometimes all you can be. Sometimes you just have to be sexy. I'm Jacqueline and a lot of guys are intimidated by my looks. Cause you look aggressive. Why she look all ill? The guys are intimidated by my looks. Ew! I think he's cute. He's got great eyes. He's got a nice build. A nice build? What is this, 2K? Craig is gonna take all four girls to a bar. Let's see what Reese thinks about this idea. This is so awkward. Why would you put four girls at the table with the guy and now he gotta remember what all of them are talking about and try to talk to all of them evenly? That don't even make sense. So what do you two like to do in your spare time? Back home, I'm learning how to ride motorcycles, so it's kind of really a, yeah a Suzuki 80 mini bike. Oh, a cruiser? Oh, so a dirt bike? No, yeah, it's, it's a mini bike because I don't want to kill myself yet, but but I'm getting there. She said yet. Yeah. I just learned how to ro ride a motorcycle this summer too. Now all of a sudden, everybody at the table ride motorcycles. In my spare time, what? I'm on the bike. Now, all of a the sudden, they all riding motorcycles. What do you know? Would you look at what would happen if you put everybody around each other and let them hear each other's answers? I'm wondering where she got the motorcycle idea from. I would believe it or not. His bike, it was a CBR 900 for me. 900? I'm a little, yeah, it was big for me. I'm a Were little girl. It's a nice little bike. That's huge. Yeah. yeah. I opened up on the highway. I don't like a buck 15, so yeah, it was a fine. A buck 15? We jump in on that too, riding a motorcycle. I'm sorry, but a girl her size is not starting out on a 900. It just doesn't work. I like to take my dog out for a walk. I have a big Rottweiler and I named him Garcia. And then I like to just dance, uh, just to dance off steam. Boring. Any uh, <laughs> great accomplishments on anyone? I don't know, my general accomplishment. What's your accomplishment? I think is, like when I was in high school, I was kind of a geek. I wore like baggy clothes. How is that an accomplishment you were a geek that wore baggy clothes? So like me, like learning to become female is an accomplishment. What? She learned how to become a girl. That's her account. What are these girls talking about? What are they talking about? Nicole's greatest accomplishment is to become a female. Made no sense to me whatsoever. She was a you know, man. Uh, I've done some pageants in the past. I did the Cinderella Miniature Miss when I was 10. Whoa. Um, I did the Pride of Illinois in high school. So Whoa. I technically Miss Pride of Illinois. Interesting. These girls jealous. Oh my goodness, boys. I don't know about this pageant thing, honey. The girl's got a weight problem. You know, I, maybe it's for Jenny Craig, I'm not sure. I just think she's really stuck on herself. All right, so since you've done so many pageants and stuff like that, who do you think here couldn't? Absolutely could not. You do have to be some, you gotta walk the walk, you gotta have- Why she keep looking at that girl with the red hair? The gown, you gotta have- She went back to her. The hair, you gotta have look. There's more women at the table. Why she keep focusing on her? I don't understand how you can tell me that I couldn't be in a pageant. I, like, it's it's hair and makeup. You gotta be poised. You gotta be able to, to sell yourself. How she ain't poised. She don't know how to sell herself. Look at this. She would never make it on OnlyFans. I mean, I know you go to Harvard and everything, but you seem like you act like you're better than everyone else because you go there. I mean, I can tell you're on a power trip. Whoa. Totally. And I totally Shit. see. Hey, buddy, buddy, control your women. You got four. Get, get some control. Take back the date. You're not getting to know any of these girls. They're attacking each other. They got a little catty. I was happy with that. Definitely cool to see a good cat fight here and there. Look at this guy. He's a tool. He glad these girls fighting over his funky ass. It came down to who I actually didn't feel I had chemistry with. Uh-huh. 
and it came down to I really didn't feel the actual chemistry there. And I'm sorry to say, but you gotta go. No! Miss Big Chin, she got a chin like Buzz Lightyear. Why you gonna get rid of her? You supposed to go with her from infinity to beyond. I cut Jackie because it came down to it. I wasn't really feeling it. I'm kind of surprised, but I didn't really feel the chemistry either. You know, hey, in 10 years when he's fat and bald and he's wearing a hat to cover his hair plugs, he's... Why I get brought into this? Now we're moving on to the second phase of the date, a more intimate setting after Janice was now eliminated. All right, so if you guys were in a place like this, right? Yeah. And you saw someone you thought was pretty cute. What would you do to catch their eye? Like, how would you seduce them? Probably eye contact. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. what? Just eye contact? No. Anything yeah. behind it? Or? That's what girls do. They just look at you until you make a move. That's that's what it is. There's the rule. You look at them once, it's a mistake. You look at them twice. Is she looking at me? You look at her a third time. Okay, it's go time. She's going to look at you. She ain't lying. She well, ain't lying. Do some eye contact. Make sure you get their attention. Do a little smile and walk over a little later. Of the people that you actually have run back to the room, I don't know <laughs> what you want to call it. What would be the best thing that they could say about you in the morning? The best thing that I've had, like my boyfriend in the past, say is you have the most incredible touch. What? The way that you, your bodies react to one another. What? <laughs> she got an amazing touch because of the way your bodies interact. She a freak. What are you talking about? She got a good touch. Sound like she don't know what she doing talking about the body touch. She trying to sound like a lady. She sounds stupid. If you're, if you're really into something, then your body reacts well to other people. So who's going to make the first move? Depends. Depends on the guy. Typically, you make I, the first I, I'd move. Make or? The I'd make the first move. Yeah. Yeah. How would you make that move? If I really felt like I was talking to someone for a while, and I really boring. Yeah, she doing too much talking. He want her to do something, but she ain't doing it. If I felt comfortable. I oh my god, right, bro! Well, shut up. If you want to make a first move, you gotta just look at the guy. You gotta. You're feeling some chemistry going on. Whoa, what's you know, about to happen here? Whoa! Who <laughs> in front of the other women? I knew that's what he was trying to get out of the other girl, but I didn't think he was about to just go for it like that. I didn't know he was. Now what the other two girls are supposed to think, huh? He don't even care. I told you he was a tool. Look at them. Jesus. <laughs> She felt that she needed to do something drastic, really, really quick, and it was just a quick kiss, and it didn't really have much meaning behind it. I wouldn't mind trying that again a little bit later. Look and at this guy. You? I mean, if I'm at that point in my relationship with that person, you know why you're in my bedroom, I know why you're in my bedroom, and I'm just gonna take control. Really? Wow. Ah! I just know how to please men. It, it's not like any certain thing. I can figure out like what exactly the guy wants, and I'm able to give him that. I can figure out what a guy wants and give him that. I'm pretty, men ain't that complicated. Just put your mouth somewhere. What are you talking I can figure out what a guy wants. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about, man? I'm not saying it's any certain thing. always figure that out? Yeah. How? You can just tell. The way, like, the sounds they make. The <laughs> In the sounds they make. What noises y'all be making, Chad? <laughs> when you want to do the nasty with a girl, what noise you make? <laughs> I'll be like, Kaka, Kaka! <laughs> this girl talking about the sounds they make. <laughs> what is she talking about? <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> what is she talking about? What are you talking about? The way, like the sounds they make, the way they move, you know what I mean? Like if you touch them here and they're like, ha uh -huh. you know? What? <laughs> what are you talking about? He ticklish? What is she talking about? You touch him. You have to pay attention to your signals because not everybody is like as vocal as me. I'll, if I don't like what you do, I'll be like, hey, stop right now. That's terrible. Sorry, but in, in a situation that I've been in, like if you just say, 
Oh man, you suck. Like, stop that right now. No, the I, whole mood is dead. Right. Like, I'm not gonna be like, hey, stop, you suck, you suck. Imagine what that would do to like yeah, someone's stop, mind. Stop, like, my God. This girl is stupid, you know, you just you man. take things too literally. Especially I've been reading this off you all night, jumping down my throat about things and education, and you just you think you're like a couple degrees better than everybody else, and you know what? You're not. Whoa! I'm trying to have a regular Whoa. discussion. I'm just thinking about I think the like tall girl. I think the tall girl to his right. The girl over here might get eliminated. Wait, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. This one might get okay, eliminated. I'm going to do this all night, so I'm going to step things up a notch. Okay. What are you talking about? You've been wanting to do that all night. She knows she was about to get eliminated, so she just jumping all over him. He <laughs> sucks. She felt that she needed to do something drastic, really, really quick, and it was just a quick kiss, and it didn't really have much meaning behind it. You literally just saw him kiss the other girl, and now she trying to outdo her. These girls be down bad. I have to say, unfortunately, Allison, I thought you had that opportunity earlier, and you didn't go for it. She tried to, I swear to God, how you, how she jump on him and he's still eliminated. He left a little too much in the imagination, but I want to thank you for that great gift. Okay. That was sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, you win some, you lose some. It's basically the way it goes, I guess. <laughs> she literally threw herself at him and he still rejected <laughs> She gotta feel so dumb, bro. She gotta feel so dumb. She tried to clamp on to one last chance and it still ain't work. Okay, chat, we made it to the final round. There's only two girls left. Let's just see who he chooses. I'll start off with you. What do you think that she did to piss you off the most? Honestly, it's, it's the Harvard the thing. From the beginning. I don't know what I did that made her angry, but like right away. First round, she started pick, pick, picking. I was just answering questions. I'm not, I wasn't picking from the very beginning. I just flat out, you ask me a question, I'm gonna answer it, you know? And if there's three people, I have to pick someone. Mysteriously, every time you had something bad to say about someone, it was about me. Whoa! She's picking on me from the very beginning. It's always been me and blah, 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 blah. And no. I've really learned a lot. Um, you know, I don't, I don't want to drop the H bomb again, but uh, I mean, being at Harvard has taught me more than I could have ever imagined. Surprise, surprise! Again, again, you drop the H bomb. Why does that offend you so much? It this girl in the red care more about the other girl than him at this point. <laughs> it's more about the girl than him. As far as being there for someone, having that special connection with someone. And I think it can offer quite a bit more. Whoa! Look how she touching all up on them. supposed to be doing in the middle of the show look at this what about the girl in the red huh she the third wheel on the date how you the third wheel on your own date imagine that imagine being the third wheel on your own date <laughs> i knew exactly what she was looking like would you look at this craig and i are on the same wavelength i feel like he knows what i'm saying just by the look of his eye and uh know what you saying you doing the same with your lips you keep kissing him what are you talking about he know what you saying he know what you trying to do that's the only thing he know what is this what is he doing on this lady what is he doing is he throwing that ass back what is he do Are, what is going on here? Chat, this might be the new meta. You take four girls on a date, you kiss one, the other two get hey, jealous hey. and want to kiss you too. I did notice that Nicole got a kiss and it was getting a little too long, so I felt the need to uh, get in there and break it up. Look at this guy! He's in the middle of a three. What is going on on the dance floor? What is going on? These two girls don't even like each other. He got them sharing him. They don't even like each other. Will it be Nicole, Samantha? He ain't even got to choose. That you already you got them both. I definitely felt it. Like it was definitely there um, between riding and everything else. But I felt it was more of a friend connection. Unfortunately, that's the decision I have to make right now. So I want to thank you for a great time. And 
you got a friend connection from her freaky ass? What kind of friends do you be having, bucko? And unfortunately, you're cut, and I get to spend the rest of the night with you, Nicole. Now I'm jealous. At first I was having fun, now I'm down bad. What is this, man? 